Well, everybody, there it is. The 408 is back. The original engine that was in the Camaro, got it back from the uh, machine shop. I actually had, I picked up a new block and then this is the old block that was in it that we ended up hurting the cylinder wall. So I just decided, you know what? Let's grab a new block. Let's have everything put from that block into here. He also put two new pistons in it and uh, just cleaned everything up. And like I said, this block's all fresh machine. That block from being hurt another piston before had a, had a little nick in the cylinder wall, so it had a sleeve. So I didn't want to keep sleeving that block. So just went ahead and got a new block. I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to do with this one yet. That one might get sold. That one might get used for the burnout truck. Uh, maybe one day it's got a blower on top of it. I have no idea exactly, but uh, and might go to a new home for somebody to use in their turbo build or supercharged build or whatever the heck they want. So I also got the heads. We'll grab them out once we get this unloaded and take a look. I'm not really going to unbag the engine. As you guys can see, we did use some, like a lot, most of the pistons, but I think it was this one is the new piston possibly the other one so you guys look here these are the pistons he pulled out of it and yeah that's where uh that's where we heard it we got into the edge of the other block and then this one he just noticed that it had some rock in here up on the top edge so checked everything out put two new pistons in it and uh, also cleaned up all the heads because when we did hurt that one cylinder it got a bunch of junk just kind of up here on the head surface so went ahead and cleaned all that Went through everything, did a valve job. So heads are fresh, engine is fresh. So pretty much this thing would be ready to go back together. If we were gonna run this engine, I could just throw the head studs in it, put head gaskets, bolt the heads on there. Why I kept it separate is in case I wanna sell the short block separate or the head separate. I know these heads are super sought after. These are a Trick Flow 220. And this is the same thing that I ran in the Camaro that went 563, 126 mile an hour at like 3,600 pounds. So, I mean, this combo makes good power and it's been actually really reliable other than we've had crank sensor issues and stuff like that that caused us to hurt some pistons. And I think the last one, after kind of looking at it, running MTBE fuel in a non-MTBE MTBE injector probably didn't help itself. So that might've uh, might have caused us some issues too. So learn from all that. So for the new combo in the Camaro, we'll make sure that we don't have those issues or do everything we can to alleviate having those issues. So now what I'm wanting to do is go get some aircraft stripper and clean these horns off here from the unibody because that's where the subframe connectors are going to go on here get that cleaned up and then the camaro can head over to the my dad's shop to get the new chassis in it so i'm gonna grab some premium stripper and now we're throwing it up on here kind of cleaning all this and uh trying to get all the paint off of it clean these up real nice before it heads over there to the shop i'm doing this because the new chassis will have subframe connectors that will run from here back there to those little horns where the lower control arms mount. So we're getting these all cleaned up, getting the paint off of them and uh, stuff. So then it's easy to weld the new subframe connectors in right here. Looks like it's working pretty damn well. It's bubbling and starting to peel all this shit off there. So it should be pretty good. Let's see this side. Yeah, this side's got a little bit right there where it's starting to peel it off. And I put some back on there just now. So then I can come back up here and start scraping this. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna sacrifice one of my stainless little welding brushes. I'll have to get a new one, but this is, I have a big one, but this is probably what's gonna work best for scraping in all these little areas and trying to get up in beside the frame rail and stuff like that. So then I have a great scraper, but went ahead and grabbed one of these. A lot of it just peels right off. So it does say that it might take a couple coats to get it completely cleaned off and everything, but otherwise that looks Looks pretty dang good. Maybe down here it'll take a little bit more. Taking a little longer than I originally thought, but man, it's coming off pretty nice and it's gonna make it much easier to work on. As you guys can see, it just kind of fills it off. This is like the second real good coat, maybe two and a half on this one, but the rest of it's been about two coats and then just uh, peels right off there. Nice and easy. All right, so back at it over here. Ended up back from sick week. We've been working on this a little bit, as you guys seen in other clips, but now I got what I need to at least get the steering column back in this car. So I hit up 269 Motorsports, got a bunch of parts from them coming and uh, they showed up. So now I can get like the column in, steering wheel stuff, cause we are gonna try to move it without a steering wheel and all that, but that'd probably been a mess. So let's make it a little bit easier on Alex and I when we go to move this thing. So along with this motion steering column that they carry and some Zeus rails for whenever we get a fiberglass hood on this thing. And then some momentary buttons, a timing pointer for the new engine. And then I also picked up this MPI steering wheel from them. So we got all sorts of new stuff going in the Camaro today so we can get this thing moved. So I already messed up. I thought that this adapter from the old column would have worked on the new column because I already adapted it to manual steering. 
but it's not. Instead of this DD, I actually need this to be three quarter round. Aftermark columns are super easy to install. Slide it down through there, bring it up into the same spot, grab the little nuts and uh, bolt it down. That'll hold it and then put the bolts in the firewall and pretty much back to having a column in the car. After popping the factory bolts back in it, we got a new column. So nice and easy. So now it has that removable steering wheel that I wanted to be able to add to the Camaro because once we update the cage, this will make it easier to get in and out of the car. Plus it drops some weight. Well, I ended up finding this steering joint from another project that we had that I never used, which has got the right uh, mount on this side of it to go onto the shaft here. But as you guys can see, we got to adapt to the round. But this side has the splines if it were to be connecting down to here. So what I think we're gonna do is try to drill this out. So we went and picked up a new $30 freaking drill bit try to hog this thing out and reuse this so then I don't have to order a new one and it doesn't waste me a few days getting one so I can try drilling it out and see how that works. We're making some progress and now it's a three quarter round instead of a spline. Perfect. Got the hole drilled in the end of the column to fit the little set screw so you know that thing don't spin off whenever you're going down the track because that'd be a bad day. Turn. We have steering again. Yep. It's a little over a half turn. So we got the truck kind of jackknifed in here, trying to roll the Camaro out from there, down those ramps, up these ramps, and onto this trailer. So let's see how this plays out. So you put a jack under there and slid the back of the car over a little bit. Now we should be able to come out straight ish, straight ish. Well, there she is, loaded up, ready to go get some new cage work done. First, we need to go over and spray it all off, get all this crud out of that general area. So then, when we're welding and cleaning on stuff, it's not so bad. But otherwise, it Salty looks good out in the sun, man. I am so happy to have it out in the sun, even though it's so far away from running again. At least we're doing something. Here we go. Let's take it over and get it cleaned off. Cleaned off. Came down to Novus Auto Glass. Uh, Josh owns this company. He's a fellow drag racer and stuff, and uh, told me they'd pop the windshield out of this thing for me, so they're going to pop it out. So then it gains us some room to... Uh, so it gains us some room to put the cage in because we'll have to put some bars on it right here and stuff. So uh, some of the tight areas is a pain with the windshield. So we'll take that out and then we'll pop a new one in once it goes back together. So we got Salty over here, about ready to go into the shop. We got my dad's chassis jig out too. It's windier, so you guys might hear that, sorry. And then we're getting everything in the shop ready to go. April's in here on the phone. <laughs> so we're just kind of cleaning up some things. My dad's been doing a bunch of epoxy with wood, some cool stuff here. But we're gonna get the uh, Hummer actually pushed out of the shop, put it outside with the tarp to protect it, and then move the Buick. First time we've fired it up and moved it since the new axles. So let's see how it fires up. And then we're gonna do musical cars. And the plan is to put Salty right here on the chassis jig so that I can work on it. So in the words of Vice Grip Garage, bring the thunder. Oh, battery dead. Psych. Who knows this feeling? But all you're doing is you're ready to go except for you need to charge the battery, right? Seems like that's a pretty consistent thing with cars, right? As you go to fire it up and on, now we need to charge the battery. So 
Power is off, so I don't know if the holly pulls a little bit of power over time or whatever, but something kind of drained it a little bit, and now we're uh, we're charging. There we go. Come on, come on. Well, cold blooded, but fired up a little bit of charge in her. This old ice cream garage thing didn't work for me. Damn it. Gotta put a lot of heat in the new gears. So there it is. Buick is back up and running. And Salty is ready for some cage upgrades. So we're gonna go over everything that we're gonna do here later, another day. But uh, it's here. It's cold. If you guys wanna see more on the fast stuff from the cage, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.